Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little back to school. It's kind of like a little gift. It's just a fun little pouch with some crayons on it. And um, I think this would be a really fun gift for your back to schoolers or to make for a classroom craft. It's just something quick, easy, and fun that I think your kids will really enjoy. And this time of year you can get uh, Crayola crayons for like 25 to 50 cents a pack at your big box stores. And um, so it's very economical too because you can make a couple different kits from one box of crayons. This video is brought to you by Paper Mart. You can find the tags, the baker's twine, the washi tape, and the ribbon. I am using all at papermart.com. Find them online, and there's all sorts of really fun packaging stuff too. So you will find all kinds of stuff for your next craft project or party. So the first thing we're going to do is um, figure out about how big we're going to need our little packet here. And um, so I'm just going to like put my crayon there, and I can see right, I'm just going to roll it over to the edge. I need to fold it right about there. And you can do this with a scoring board, but you know what? I find that you can do this pretty easily with your fingers. And then these crayons are, they're probably about a quarter of an inch wide, so I'm just going to make another little fold right there. As long as you line your edges up, you'll get a really nice crisp fold. And that's how easy making a little packet is. And then we are going to tape it closed. And so I'm just going to use some washi tape for that. This is really easy. You can find this at Paper Mart. This black and white polka dot goes with everything, but they have a lot of different designs. So check them out. They're just a little over a buck a roll, and you really can't beat it. I find that I use these for so many different projects. I'm going to put this a little part of about a quarter of an inch from the top. And I'm not going to tape it too tight because I need to put those crayons in. I think I'll actually put my crayons in first. I want to go in rainbow order, so let's let's do that. Rainbow order makes me happy. It's so organized and tidy, I guess. <laughs> and also disorganized. That must be why I like it. Okay, so I'm just going to put them in there. And then I'm going to try to tape it fairly snug so they don't slip out. Just like that. So pinch the sides. And just wrap it around to the back. And then I thought it would also be cute to use this measuring tape uh, ribbon. So I just wanted a little bit, I wanted it big enough to go all the way around. And I'm going to use um, some of this double stick tape. I like it because I can tear it. And I will just peel off the backer there. I'm going to trim it when I flip it over, so that way I don't waste any beautiful ribbon. I, this is some of my favorite ribbon. I've been using this, this spool for years, but I just love it. And uh, they still have it at Paper Mart. They might even have it in yellow, too. They used to. I'm not sure if they still do or not. I guess I could have gone a little longer that with that washi tape so it met on the back, but I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to do another piece of this on the back. And uh, this is just a nice, strong, double-sided tape. You could also use hot glue. Just be careful with those crayons in there if you decide to use hot glue, because you don't want to melt them. But the thing that's nice about double-sided tape is the kids can totally do this. So there's our little packet, which looks pretty cute as it is. Now I'm going to show you how to make this cool, melted crayon art. And this is a fun project. Kids just love this. And you can do it on canvases as well. Uh, to make it a little more interesting, I'm going to punch a star a couple times here right on the tag. And these tags are the large unstrung merchandise tags. You don't have to punch the stars. This is what it looks like without you punching the stars, which is cute, but I just think it's a little bit more um, cuter this way. And this is really waxy, and once you melt the crayons, it's going to be waxy on the opposite side too, so you're not going to be able to glue anything on top without it popping off. So I kind of want to make the most out of this. And I want something that I can just kind of prop this up on while I am um, melting the crayons. And I'm going to use my heat tool for this. I've seen people use hair dryers, but I really think that hair dryers would just blow this wax all over the place. The heat tool is more heat than air, so it works really quickly too. And you can even guide that wax down a little bit. You could do this uh, technique on canvas or on... Um, on all kinds of stuff, on canvas boards, stretch canvases, um, notebooks, whatever you want. It's a really fun, fun technique. Fill in any little spots. Ooh, it's smoking there a little bit. Yikes. You gotta be careful of the wax smoking. And then we're gonna let that dry and attach it on with a little bit of Baker's Twine. Again, black and white, super versatile and very inexpensive at Paper Mart. You can get 240 yards of the Paper Mart brand for 
I think it's around eight bucks. It's a, it's a great value and, um, and it lasts a long time. So let's let that dry. And then, you know what? I'll just attach this one on since this is already dry. So I'm just going to go through this little hole here that's already in the tag. And I'm just going to string that on. And wouldn't this be cute if you were a teacher putting one on every desk? Or if you're a parent having this waiting for your kids when they get home from school someday. Or even if you're having like a birthday party. This would be a really cute, um, a really cute table decoration. Especially if you put these down, one at each place setting, and you covered your table with like the white craft wrapping paper rolls that they have at Paper Mart. That way each kid could sit down, grab their crayons, and just start decorating the tablecloth. I think it's a really fun idea, and I hope you give it a try. Not every project has to be super involved and complicated. Some can be just simple and easy like this. Thank you so much for watching today. If you want to find the products that I used, look in the video description for a link to our sponsor, Paper Mart. You can find them online at www.papermart.com. Packaging for less. Happy crafting!